Wonderful day everyone! How are you today? This is me again, Teacher Jeanette from IV Prep Education. Welcome to our science lesson. Are you ready? Let's go! How are you noticing our weather nowadays? Is it still cold like winter? Or it's already hot like summer? Well, today we are going to learn about weather patterns. Don't ask me what is it because we've already talked about that last class, so you better understand it very well. But again, today we will learn more about it, so don't worry, okay? All right, now who among you here would like to ask, hmm? What is weather patterns, teacher? Well, let's watch this video for us to know more about it. Hey, it's me, Ivan. Guess where I am? <laughs> it looks like I'm on the moon, but it's really just a picture made by my new invention, the Climate Finder. Actually, here in my garage, where I love to build things. Remember my weather machine? It makes all kinds of weather, and we know what weather is. Changes in the atmosphere, like clouds and temperature and precipitation. Remember? Precipitation is the word that weather scientists use for rain and snow. Weather is also how fast the wind is blowing and what direction. Well, I've hooked up my weather machine to my new invention, the Climate Finder. Climate is the weather that usually happens in a place. Like, even though it's warmer in the summer and colder in the winter, it may or may not snow in the winter depending on the climate where you live. With my Climate Finder, we can look at the kinds of weather in some different climates on Earth. And if I push this button, I can even experience those climates. Ready? Let's take a look at the climate in a place that's somewhere on the equator. This is a tropical rainforest on the equator. Let's see what its climate is like. Whoa, it's hot! And it's hot all year, not just in the summer. That's true in a lot of places that are near the equator, unless you're up in the mountains. <laughs> it also rains a lot here, most of the days of the year. <laughs> Oops, sorry, rascal. Now let's look at a place where the weather changes more. This looks good. In this kind of climate, they get some rain and snow in the winter when it's cold. <sighs> but they also get plenty of sunshine in the summer when it's hot so they can grow lots of food. Let's see what it's like down a little closer to the South Pole. This is Antarctica. One of my favorite places! During some parts of the year, the sun doesn't come up at all. And when the sun does come up, it doesn't get very high in the sky. That's why it's so cold that there's ice on the ground all year long, even in the summer. Oh, hey, rascal! I hope you like seeing those different climates. Hmm. Ah, zipper's stuck. Huh, this is sure the wrong climate for a heavy coat in July. <laughs> Sorry, rascal. <laughs> That's not helping. <laughs> rascal! Oh, see you next time. Rascal! <laughs> Quit it! <laughs> well 
done! We have learned so much about weather pattern from the video. And so, can you now define what is weather pattern? Here it is. Okay, can you help me read? Right! Thank you so much! Weather pattern maintains consistency for a period of time. Now, take a look at this picture. What can you see? Yes, it's a rainbow! But have you ever had this thought in your mind, when do rainbows appear? Do you want to know? Okay, let's watch. Rainbows are only seen in special weather conditions. The sun must be shining behind you. And there must be water in the air in front of you. This water is usually rain, but could also be something like a waterfall. The rainbow will then be in front of you, and it will be centered around your shadow. As you can see, it's a beautiful colored arch made up of seven different colors. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. They always appear in the same order in the rainbow. Sometimes it's hard to see indigo and violet as separate colors because they merge into purple. Can you think of a way of remembering the order of the colors? The first letter from each color is in the order of R, O, Y, G, B, I, V. We had a think and came up with Rainbows Over Your Garden, Brief in Visiting. To help you remember, why not try creating your own? That was a great video about when do rainbows appear and why do rainbows appear, right? Okay, so this time, can you tell me now the seven colors of the rainbow in the chronological order? Are you ready? What is the first one? The second? The third? Okay, so let's have the first three colors. Please think about it. I'll give you five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the first color of the rainbow is it starts with red. Oh no, I said it. Okay, it's red. The second color is, it starts with O. And yes, it's orange. And the third color, it starts with Y. All right, it's yellow. Okay, so you have five more. Five more? All right, four more colors to tell me next class. So I want you to memorize the seven colors of the rainbow, okay? Let's proceed to four seasons. Do you remember the four seasons that we have, at least in Vietnam? Okay. Let's watch this video in order for us to be reminded of the four, is it? Four seasons, okay? Let's sing along.
four seasons that we learned from the song are spring, fall or autumn, winter, and summer. Now, make a prediction. What weather is it? All right, let's check. Okay, so having these four seasons to choose from, I want you to answer these questions. I want you to answer the question on this exercises. Okay, so I want you to prepare your book and your pen or your pencil. Okay, so... The questions are, what is your favorite season? Write it down. What do you like to do? Okay, you can write it down too inside the box. Next question, what do you wear? Right, you have to draw the pictures of the clothes that you wear during your favorite season. Okay? okay? In the same manner, in this page of your book, I want you to do the same. This is almost the same, but it's just a different table. Well, that ends our lesson for today. And congratulations because you did a very good job. And I hope you will do better in our class next time. Okay? So I want you to study more and be prepared for our online class next time. Okay? So goodbye for now. See you next time.